you remember that uh, starter on that 200 TDI that I took apart a little while ago? This chap down here. <coughs> well, what had happened to it was the connections uh, for the brushes had come undone and it all fell to bits. The reason for that was it's been soldered together. Well, that's not very good because solder melts at uh, 150 degrees Celsius. So the problem is that when the starter's getting hot, you know, you're cold cranking it in winter, those solder joints just break and that's what happened when we pulled this apart, um, it just fell a bit. I got JP just to make me just a little uh, holder for the brushes while you assemble things, but I was going to go down to my local shop and buy some new brushes and put them in. <laughs> well, in fact, what had happened was that the new brushes from our local shop was just as cheap to buy the whole assembly from the States with some other bits and pieces I needed like for example this little uh, oil like bush that goes in the end of the cover here um, <clears throat> this is a really odd size one it's it's 18 it's 16.4 millimeters outside diameter uh, so that rendered that sort of I had to buy one and also I bought three screws that hold the solenoid on just in case because they're kind of nice to have but anyway the point of this video is how are we going to put these this new brush pack on because you see really it just connects here all right there's only one connection <clears throat> so we we should make a spot welder a spot welder, how are we going to make a spot welder? Well let's put these parts away and we'll have a look. Now the new parts haven't turned up yet because they're stuck with uh, the United States Postal Service which is uh, equally as bad as Canada Post. Um, so we're going to make a spot welder. What we're, what we're going to use? Well many years ago when Mike was working on it we were playing around with an old microwave and we saw this on uh, YouTube as you do making, uh, taking the transformer out and rewiring it to some reasonably thick cables you can see how it's done, you keep your, I think is that the primary? yeah that's your primary and this is your secondary <clears throat> and uh, yes we did get some big sparks out of it and big amps but the thing was what the hell are we going to do with it? Well, today's the day, because we didn't have Amazon back in them days and we couldn't see what was available to do anything with this. And I'd seen a lot of people use um, microwave transformers to make spot welders, but they were a, such a bloody elaborate thing you didn't want to know with timers and lights and flashing ghoulies and all sorts of stuff. So we want to make just something really simple, because all I'm going to do is use it once. So. How am I going to control it? I found this foot pedal on uh, Amazon, as you do. $25 and it's metal, it's not plastic. And it's rated at 15 amp. So that's kind of good, isn't it? And it comes with a really funky, pub, uh, funky plug. You see there, so that you plug that into your mains and then on this side here, you plug it into your transformer. Easy, so that'll switch that on and off. 25 pounds. But how was I going to you what was I going to use for a clamp? That was puzzling me. I was on Amazon all night trying to think how it could do it because you could buy some big jaws, you know, like big industrial things. Well, I don't want one of them. Just want something small. Anyway, after a little bit while browsing around, I found this. Now I haven't opened it yet, and there's a reason why I haven't opened it, because I I want you to to see this box, light as a feather, it's uh, how many grams is it? 320 grams. Now get this. This tool, including tracked package from China, was $28. Now, just that for shits and giggles, I went on Canada Post website to see how much this would be to send back to China to the same address. $72. So really, there's not much in it. It doesn't sound, it sounds broken already, doesn't it? Let's have a look. 
<laughs> if, it, if it is what it is, uh, I think it's going to be good. It might be something completely different, I don't know. Oh yeah, it says here. It's made by Hooflung Dung. That's good, isn't it? I think. There. This is it, look. Look at this little boy. <laughs> look at that. That's primitive beyond belief, isn't it? But look at this. Boop, 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 boop. We've got everything we want. Look. You put your wires on here and here. Probably put some tape around them just in case. But look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Where's my, where's my starter gun? Let me another go. Look at this. There's my starter. I'll just pretend with the noise at the moment. I haven't broke it yet. That, I'm over the moon with that. When you saw the picture on uh, Amazon site, <laughs> it looked huge. Uh, and look, they're actually solid aluminium uh, square section. I thought it was tube at the beginning, it was square. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's cheap and it's cheerful. <laughs> but for doing one job, it's good. 28 bucks, I couldn't make that for, I couldn't even buy materials for 28 bucks. And it comes with a, a little Allen key, oh, to tighten up your connections. Thus, onto there, I like that look. Put them onto there. And, uh, oh, and a spare screw. Man, this is good. The instructions are going to take some working out. Oh, wait a minute. I'll read the instructions out to you. I thought it was just in Chinese. Part 10B in the figure connects to the main output line of the spot welding machine. Generally 4 volts to 12 volts. I don't know, maybe. Uh, part 107 is a figure pressure adjusting screw for the welding pen. It's called a welding pen. Where's the adjusting screw? Oh, under there, look. I don't think we're going to touch on that. Uh, power one two. The electrode chuck of the welding pen. During book welding, two electrodes clamp the object to be welded and carry out resistance book welding. Nice. <laughs> Is it going to work? I don't know. But we've got all the bits to make it work. And because I've been welding up my... Uh, Ford Focus, I've got little, little bits of tin left over so we can have a practice. So I'm going to put this together and see if it works. I just like that. I just, just like that thing. For 28 I mean, they must be making them for what? I don't know. What, what would be the factory gate price of that? 50 pence? 50 cents? Something like that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> even the shipping, I don't know how they do it. You know, a lot of people have a go, you know, you're oh, buying all this stuff off Amazon. Yeah, because you can't buy it down the street, there's stuff that we can't get. Anyway, less of this rambling, let's get welding. Don't you love it when a plan comes together? Hmm? <laughs> Here it is. Wallace and Gromit's spot o -matic. Now, to connect the cables onto this didgeridoo here, I use some of these... Uh, copper clamps. I didn't solder them, I used my big cable crimper, put some insulation over it. The handles do get a... oh no that's why I've been putting some heat shrink on so that's not too bad. The transformer works, I put some ground on it and uh, well that's about it really. I had a quick go Just put things away on this and now that broke off because I didn't know how long to put it on for and I want to use it again. But watch this. Are you ready? Where's my pedal? There. That's all we want. We're not going to weld the ship up. Well, that's not bad, is it? Now, of course, by varying the timing, we'll get something quite good. I mean, I've got to play around with it, but for God's sake, all it's going to do is hold some brushes on. But well, the idea is you can get in with it. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of over the moon with it. 
do you think? It's not a waste of time, is it? I mean, all right, on that tin, you could break them off, but just to hold it, if you put about five or six spot welds, let's try it, put about five or six spot welds in, and see how, 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 it, how strong it is. I've got my little guillotine -y thing here, look. So, here we are, we're back over here, cut a piece of tin. And we're going to overlap it a little bit so I've got some edge to grab onto it. We'll put about five or six spot welds on it. This is a nice thing because you can clamp it and then do the welding. One. Two. Three. Great success! Now, just be careful when you're fanning about with electric and stuff like that. Be, be safe. But for $60, I've got everything I need. Now, when the parts come, obviously I'll, I'll do this properly. But I think that's a good little setup. I think it's a good little setup. The wires do get a little bit warm, but we're only going to do one or two spot welds, so we're not doing it all day long. But I think it's great. I think it's a great thing. See ya.